feedback on his style, his reading style, his effectiveness, his vocal variety, facial expressions. Please help me welcome Manesh. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Toastmasters, fellow members, and guests. I have been a member for a long time, but I'm a neophyte at interpretive reading and storytelling. So I always like people who write in the newspaper. I know a lot of people don't read newspaper nowadays, but I do, and I always like people like Irma Bombeck and A.B. and everybody else. Mike Royko was my best, and a lot of people even don't know what Mike Royko is because he's been dead for a while. But this is a column from our local, Celia Rivenbaum, containing the frustration. After an exhausting day of work, errands and laundry, her youngest child asked, Mama, where do all these missing socks go? Responded a weary and impatient mom. They went. They went to live with Jesus. This explanation has worked very well for assorted dead hamster, guinea pigs, goldfish, and yes, it works for socks too. Does this also explain the wacky abundance of mismatched plastic containers and lids in my kitchen cabinet? Did their mates go to live with Jesus? How is it possible that there are six square bottles for sandwich keepers and only three square tops, none of which fits any of the six tops? Are they on vacation? Did they stop getting along and got a divorce? I realize that there are more important matters in life to ponder, but I really can't think of any single one right now. Is there such a thing as a gladwell rapture in which the less worthy are left behind? Lid, you go live with Jesus. Matching fork of batter ball, not so fast. No, no, no. I mean that would be crazy, right? So I find myself rooting around the designated plastic well cabinet, which is so named because it is a hodgepodge of legit Tupperware, Gladware, Ziploc balls, and assorted Hillshine Farms lunch meat containers that used to have matching lids. I have always imagined that the legit Tupperware didn't like having to hang out with close quarters. After all, people have to go to party to own me. You country crock. <laughs> you are free with a lump of fake butter. Somebody get me out of this cabinet. <laughs> After foraging fruitlessly for a match, I ended up making to do my pairing an almost fit sleeve on a sort of a matches, bottoms, and adding a big rubber band from the Sunday paper around it. Also, leaves wouldn't pop off. This never works, by the way. The princess waxed as all get out because my sort of fit system resulted in mandarin orange juice forming a sticky sea in the bottom of her lunchbox. Ask, why didn't you just use the ones that are meant to go together? Yes, why didn't I? None of this scratching solves the mystery, of course. Actually, one rubber made mystery was solved when I discovered that the top had fallen into the heating element at the bottom of my dishwasher. <laughs> and melted. I scrapped off the element with a spatula, so tiny and now so flat. Hmm. Taken before its time. Irrationally said, I immediately put its mat into service holding paper clips, which unlike containers, multiply throughout the night with abandon, same with the twisty ties from the braids and the rolls. Paper clips and twisty ties are the sluts of the utility drawer. <laughs> Am I right? Oh, also, whatever battery you don't need, there will be tons of those. They went. They went to live with Jesus. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>